Well, Case Energy is the Clean and Safe Energy Coalition. It's an organization supported by the nuclear energy industry out of Washington, D.C. And our secretariat is in the Hill and Knowlton offices here, where they organize all our work. Uh, I'm the co-chair, along with Christine Todd Whitman, former governor of New Jersey, and she was also the head of the Environmental Protection Agency for a few years under President Bush. Uh, and uh, the two of us are ambassadors for an effort to build a national coalition amongst people from all walks of life to support new nuclear power in the United States as a clean and safe alternative to produce our electricity. Now, already 20% of America's electricity is produced by nuclear energy in 104 nuclear power plants on uh, 64 sites in 32 states across the country. And uh, so it's a very important part of the energy supply today. And we believe that once people understand the issues around nuclear, its record of safety, how clean it is from an environmental point of view, emitting no air pollution or any other uh, form of pollution into the environment, uh, that people will support nuclear power. And indeed, that's the case. Uh, today, more than 60% of Americans believe that nuclear energy should be part of the future of energy supply for the country. So we've come a long ways since uh, you could say the dark days around Three Mile Island, uh, which is the worst nuclear accident that has happened in the United States. And what people don't realize, many of them, is that actually it might have been a bad accident, but it didn't harm anyone. There was no one injured or killed by the Three Mile Island accident. No worker and no member of the public was harmed. It was a very expensive mechanical failure caused by human error, uh, and a great deal was learned from it, and that's why such a thing has not happened since in this country or anywhere else except for one uh, incident that occurred in Japan, as all of us know, the Fukushima incident that occurred a little over a year ago now caused a great deal of concern. But again, no one died from radiation at Fukushima, and according to the experts, no one will, because no one received uh, enough radiation to cause harm to their health in the future. So we, we t we, we've tended to take the uh, safety issue a bit out of proportion, because if, if you look at all of the ways in which we produce energy in the world, and fossil fuels are the main form of energy, oil, is the largest form of energy in the world. Over, over one third of all the world's energy comes from oil. Uh, and then there's natural gas and coal. And, and all of those technologies also uh, have negatives to them. Uh, and in, in our estimation, nuclear looks the best if you actually take the record of its history in terms of public safety and health and cleanliness from an environmental point of view. There's nothing. Uh, other than my favorite form of energy, in fact, is hydroelectric power because uh, it's renewable and very clean. Uh, and uh, at the same time, though, there isn't the potential for hydroelectric power everywhere. So it, it's only available in certain locations. It has to rain and it, you have to have mountains in order to have rivers running uh, in order to, to get the power out of the water. But uh, nuclear energy is available anywhere in the world. And in fact, uh, many countries produce a lot of their energy with nuclear power, some more than the United States. Like France, for example, gets over 75% of its electricity from nuclear energy. Belgium gets 60% of its energy from nuclear. Sweden gets nearly half its electricity from nuclear power. And so there's a number of countries that rely on nuclear for more of their electricity. And in, in, in the example of Sweden, they don't actually use any fossil fuels to produce electricity in that country. Whereas the United States, 70% of the electricity is fossil fuel, coal and natural gas primarily. So you go around the world, you find that some countries are doing things in a very different way. And right next door in Canada, for example, 75% of the electricity is hydroelectric and nuclear. So and only a very small percentage of the electricity in Canada is from fossil fuels, whereas it's almost the exact opposite in the U.S. And one of our messages is that we should be reducing our dependence on fossil fuels because they are non-renewable, whereas 
and they produce air pollution, which is a, a serious health issue in the country. We need the electricity, there's no doubt about that, but wouldn't it be better if we move to cleaner energy technologies, and nuclear is really the most important one of those.